What an amazing feature for you, Duncan McQuarrie. So, uh, <laughs> without further ado, let's. Let's. Uh, yeah. Are we feeling good? Are we still. Yeah. We have yeah. it. We good. That's good. All right. Let's keep that energy going for your next act. I know some of you are very excited to see this young man. Please, warmly welcome to the stage, Jordan Angus. <laughs> boxes filled with sex toys. Shoe boxes, not one, not like a drawer, fucking shoe boxes. You don't believe it? No, hold on one second, let me look right here. Yeah, you two, right over there by the sexy guys. Yeah, you have a shoe box of sex toys? Yeah. What, what about you by the cute blonde guys? You got, you got a shoe box of sex toys? Yes, two for two, man. Oh, hold on one second. Any other ladies in here have shoe boxes filled with sex toys? I have a drawer. She got a fucking drawer. She's got a drawer. She's got a drawer. What can I first? You guys listen really quietly. You know, you got the blue lighting here. If nobody says anything, you hear. Or that guy's phone. <laughs> no, it's crazy what these things can do. They have fucking 12 speeds, and I only have three. I got slow, fast, and tired. <laughs> I'm like lucky if I get 30 minutes in, and then I'm fucking gassed out. These things have a 12 hour battery of your life, you know? They even have GPS locators on them now that finds and locates the G-spot and stimulates the clitoris at the exact same time. I thought I was pro just for being able to find the clit, now I gotta find something else. <laughs> I got, yeah, you look young, so you might not know. Okay, I got a little song for you, you can put on your own hands, okay? Okay, follow the lady up to the tip, that's where you find the clit, you do it right, and she'll start singing, I love you, you love me. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's how old? He's 38. 38? How old do you think I am? Yeah, 100%. 
No, I, I used to be on antidepressants. I'm trying more of a natural method it's now. Hard. It is. It's you get the therapy and my like workout. But antidepressants are fucking great, right? Oh. Like feelings? No, thank you. <laughs> uh, fuck that shit. I misunderstood my doctor though when he prescribed them to me. I thought uh, when he said that it comes with a grocery list of side effects and symptoms that I actually got to choose. What I got. <laughs> you know, he's like, you might be drowsy. I'm like, nah, I don't feel like being tired. No, thank you. <laughs> he goes, you might get some weight gain. I look like a fucking kid from one of those Speed the Starving Kids commercials. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll take some of that shit. Fuck right. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get it. <laughs> Told me my sex drive might be lower. I was in my early 20s at this point. I would have drive on the pillow, all right? Anybody else drive on pillows? No, no just me? All right, fuck you guys. <laughs> it was all good. I was getting a lot of shit done up until uh, I had to get intimate with my significant other at the time. Um, I mean, my stuff still worked. It was like having whiskey dick. You know what whiskey dick obviously is. You're like six years deep. You know, the shit gets there, but you're not getting there. And I was getting drowsy. <laughs> The game was gonna start in five minutes. <laughs> so I faked it. <laughs> she knew, she knew, what? Why? The game was gonna start in five minutes, man. It's playoffs. <laughs> she knew, you're right, you're right. I should take that advice. She, she fucking knew, man. She shot out of the bed so fast, you would've thought I stuck it in the wrong hole. <laughs> started analyzing me like my old hockey coach. It was like a highlight reel gone wrong, you know? Started off with the Conolingus foreplay, deviated a little bit with the backdoor Conolingus. I appreciate the creativity, but uh, didn't like the play. <laughs> Normally, I can count for 110% of your effort, but uh, tonight your head wasn't in it. Literally. <laughs> Do you know what happens to uh, players when they don't perform the way the coach wants them to? They get benched, and the new player takes their spot. <laughs> that's what happened to me. <laughs> I, that's not the only reason, though. That's not the only reason. You guys, you guys role play, obviously, right? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. I found role playing very doing. Oh, are you role playing by yourself, dude? <laughs> I found it very difficult because role playing involves something that you're interested in, and it, it has to be sexy, right? The things I'm interested in aren't sexy. How the fuck do you make South Park sexy? <laughs> you're standing in the corner eating pussy. I was with this best girl, okay, and she was very into Disney. Okay, everything Disney. And she wanted me to be spontaneous and incorporate something Disney related. That's so not Disney. Can't, no, South Park is not. But I went the other way with it. So things are ramping up, you know, I'm getting hot and heavy, and I decide, okay, let's go. So I go, oh, 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 and that's why I'm single. Oh, fuck that, right? <laughs> no, I, I did. I did meet somebody finally. I did. She's amazing. It's great. It's, uh, it's great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm not normally a religious person, but uh, I couldn't ignore the signs. <laughs> I get into the passenger seat of her car, and all of a sudden I become Catholic and speak in tongues. You know, the Padre, the Hio, the spiritual Santo. <laughs> Yeah, when she drives, my hair slips a little bit, you know? Mine too. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Thank you very much. My name is Jordan.